Hello. As you may know, Lord Funnelhead, master of camouflage and evil, along with his General Armenhammer, has begun an attack on the smaller nations of Europe. We have acquired this short film from one of our own reporters, which was recently smuggled out of the heart of Europe and given to us. Let us hope it opens the world's eyes to the menace of this evil dictator. Well, find them and have them shot. Shot a lot. I do not want them to get away. And shoot a dog. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I'm sorry about the business call. It happens a lot, actually. I go to an interview and the phone rings and I must answer. That's what happens. The price you pay for wanting a dictatorship. Well, uh, thank you, Lord Funnelhead, for granting this rare opportunity for an interview. I'm very honored. Oh, no problem. So, a few quick questions. I know your time is short, as you are invading a small nation sometime in the next few months. Well, I do not like to talk about it, because I do not want Poland, I mean, uh, the country, to know when <laughs> we are coming, or where we are striking. Ah, my apologies, yes. Um, oh. First of all, can you tell me uh, about your, your upbringing uh, and your early life? Well, it seems some little boys are born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Others are born with a funnel on their head. I, of course, am of the water with the funnel. Ah, oh, very interesting. As a small boy, I like to dominate my uh, kindergarten class and take over the uh, fun time section. And it, it was quite uh, exhilarating for me. And, that's what made me want to uh, stick in the line of work and invade foreign countries. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, uh, second question. Okay. Um, what are the types of things that you enjoy doing currently in your free time? Well, of course, I, I just love to uh, invade foreign nations and plunder and pillage. But when I'm all alone or in my free time, I like to take long walks on the beach, enjoy a sunset, and Burn houses. Ah, oh, well, who doesn't now and then, you know? Right. Yes, very right. nice. My yes. advice, <laughs> <that's> exactly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. Um, um, uh, another question, sir. Um, uh, Mr. Funnelhead. Was? Um, uh, why do you wear the funnel exactly? I've never seen a picture of you without it. Does it ever come off? Well, the uh, funnel ones in my family, way back to my great great granddaddy. And it's been a family tradition ever since. We first started out wearing a funnel the other way, but it was found that in battle in the rain, the rain would get your head wet. So now we wear it, as you can see. Very nice. Uh, my funnel only comes off for one thing, and that thing hasn't happened in over 15 years. Hello, Ooh. ladies, I'm single. Um, yeah. Um, Mr. Funnelhead. That's what, by the way, I have now spent my wife, not my wife, my wife, you're, invading you're, small you're, you're foreign your countries. Life? Your life, sir, your yes, life. My yes, my wife. Yes, sir, yes. Invading small foreign countries and dominating them to be called Mr. Thank you. Uh, my apologies, Lord Funnelhead, it won't happen again. It better not. I, I know that offending you is a capital punishment in this country, and I know I'm subject to your laws as a member of the press here. White. Um... If you could do one thing over in your life, what would that one thing be? Burn and pillage. I like burning and pillaging, but it was uh, a more recent thing I found after I started invading. And I found that if I could do it over, I would have burned and pillaged from the start. Um, excellent, excellent. Well, I uh, thank you for this uh, privilege of interviewing you. It's, it uh, was an honor, sir. I thank you, and I was wondering if I could do a quick a uh, press conference or an uh, announcement to my countries while well, you are here with the camera. Uh, that will not be a problem, sir. Uh. Mein Herr und Damen, now the leader of our country, Lord Funnelhead. Hello, everyone. Hello out there. I would just like to have a brief minute of your time and talk to you about the funnel. Uh, it's come to my uh, my ears from General Armenhammer that some of you have chosen to wear buckets instead of funnels. We have a very strict policy in our 
on our funnels. I give you a funnel for a reason. I have a company to make funnels, Funnel Inc., to make you funnels. So that way we all wear the funnel. So we all work nice. And it is very fashionable. So do not wear buckets. If I find out someone wears a bucket, it, they will be punished by witching. By, by what, sir? Witching. Vinching, sir? Yes, witching, where we take the rope and we tie it around the neck and we hang them up until they're dead. You know, the thing we do on alternate Tuesdays and Fridays and whatnot. Mm, jawohl. Witching. Yes. Right. Uh, and anyway, that's, that's about all I have for you for now. I'd just like to say hello out there to my grandma and my, my mommy. And remember, you'll be witched if you disobey me. Goodbye. All for the funnel. Hello again. Thank you for that opportunity uh, to allow me to view the press conference, sir. One final question okay. before I go. Um, Make it a good one or you might be winched. Oh, uh, dear. Um, exactly. Um, um, which nation, sir, are you from? Pennsylvania. God sees him. Ah, snaps.